Coppinger's going to take it right foot to Coppinger! Oh! Doncaster Ladies and gentlemen, Aaron John here for Forever Football DRFC, your long drivers fan channel, and welcome to a transfer analysis where today we're going to be analysing the addition of Josh Martin on loan from Norwich City until the end of the season. He will wear the number 21, of course, worn the season up till now by Thiago Chica. But uh, Josh Martin arrives, uh, so we're going to have a look at the club statement, have a look at the free press article. Josh Martin's first comments, the manager's first comments, and share my thoughts. So, before you get started, please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video, and let's get straight into this one. So, let's start off with Josh Martin's club statement. Roman's delighted to announce the signing of Josh Martin on loan from Norwich City until the end of the season. The 20 year old has made more than 14 appearances for his parent club since making his Premier League debut off the bench in June 2020. He scored his first senior league goal for the Canaries six months later in a victory over Sheffield Wednesday in the Championship. The exciting winner has a direct style of play, and we're hoping to add a attacking intent to Gary McSheffrey's side. He'll be allocated squad number 21. Of course, that was formerly worn by, as I said before, Thiago Chica. But let's have a look then at Martin's, um, Josh Martin's comments, officially about the club. He says he can't wait to get started after signing on loan to the end of the season. He arrived at Cantley Park on Monday morning after spending the first part of the season on loan at MK Dons. His official statement read, I'm very happy to be here and be part of the setup and team. I'm looking forward to the rest of the season. When I was told about the interest from my parent club and agent, I felt it was an opportunity I couldn't really turn down. As a team, we want to stay in the league. On a personal note, I want to get as much game time as possible and develop, but the the main thing is keeping Rovers in the league. The 20 year old took part in training on Monday as Gary McSheffrey's team prepared for the midweek trip to Cambridge United, and Martin said that he's been made to feel welcome by the players. He added, The lads here are brilliant. I've introduced myself and they brought me in really well. I feel part of the team already. There's a lot of players who are similar age to me, so that's nice to have because you can bond well. Now, McSheffrey's come out and said the aim is to bring goals and assists from more an attacking threat. Um, and Josh said i like to take the ball forward and hopefully to, the, to help the team score as many goals as we can i'm really excited to make my debut training was good and i'm really looking forward to playing for the team like i said mcsheffrey's rovers created more chance and score more goals and martin's looked to add to that with his direct style so obviously it's a very um, interesting deal now obviously the free press have put out an article about all this um and about this particular deal and um Looking at what um, the well, what the free press have said about this, and looking at what um, Liam Hoden's put out about this in terms of the uh, what what this mean what the deal means really. Um, so Liam Hoden's official uh, article. Um, about the signing of Josh Martin uh, goes over some of the details mentioned in the club statement uh, the signing on loan to the rest of the season uh, the Canaries recall of the 20 year old from his loan at MK Dons in order to send to Rovers and subject to EFL approval he's in line to make his debut against Cambridge United he only made 12 appearances from Milton Keynes with only 4 starts he struggled to break into the team following the departure of Russell Martin whom he worked with previously at Norwich City a former Arsenal youngster he joined Norwich in March 2019 and after impressing at youth level he was involved in the senior squad in the final few months of the 1920 season making 5 substitute appearances in the Premier League so that was only a couple of years ago that was only a couple of years ago so you know this lads you know for me I, I think that um, having that kind of experience could be key for a league one side he made 12 appearances from the Canaries last season winning promotion for the championship including a run of six starts from seven league matches where he also grabbed his first senior goal he was typically used as a wing back in role with MK Dons but he's more of an out and out winger that can operate on either flank now, obviously, there's been a lot of social media reaction to this uh, particular deal. Uh, people saying, looking forward to seeing what this lad could do. Welcome. Looking forward to seeing on the pitch. This is the sort of player I was hoping to come in on loan. Someone who realistically could be challenging for a start at their parent club next season, like Jacob Ramsey or Taylor Richards. Players with big futures and a desire to use the loan to catch their manager's eye. Um... 
more people reacting here. Should do well for you. Never really got a chance here. That was from an MK Dons fan. Uh, love that. Good luck. Uh, looking at the quote tweets. Um, not going to pretend I've seen much of him, but Norwich must think fairly highly of him if he's got Prem game time as well as plenty of championship. Um, so that was a, an interesting statement there from a fan. Um, other people saying, very happy with this signing, looking forward to see what this guy can do. Beyond proud. All we can ask for as a fan is to see effort and pride in playing for the badge. Give that and you'll do for me. That's what, that's what happens with everyone. So... Um, you know, we can only ask that you play for the uh, for the badge every week, and that's all we can ask. Um, someone else, in fact, Gabriel Sutton, who's been on the channel a couple of times, says if Donny could bring in four or five players at the similar level to Josh Martin, including two or three experienced battlers with leadership qualities, then they have a chance. This is a start. So, obviously, there's been a lot of positive reaction with this. There has been a few, you know, jokey, sarcastic uh, reactions to this. Um... And I just can't, and I was just scrolling across actually, um, out of form teams um, in the football league. There is ten, and we are five, fifth out of ten. We're level with Peterborough and Everton. We are and, and Hartlepool. We we are um, less in, less informed than Barnsley, Oldham, Harrogate, and Norwich as well. And. Um, but we are more informed than Watford and Gillingham. So there's positives and there's negatives. <laughs> but um, but no, um, honestly, but to be honest with you, um, in terms of what I think to this signing, I think it's a good one. I think it's a really good signing. And the reason why I think it's a good signing is I think that his championship experience and the, the stuff he's done with Lee... Um, you know, in the championship with Norris City and, you know, the the sort of few substitute appearances in the Premier League the season before that, I think could prove um, crucial. You know, getting used to, to, you know, playing against, you know, some of the big players uh, in that division and then the championship as well, uh, being a part of that campaign. I think Josh Martin could prove to be a decent signing. I think it could be a really good signing. And, you know, don't forget, there's been a past where we've used our loan market and we've, um, I'm not saying Josh Martin's one, uh, one that will happen, but... You know, don't forget we've used the low market in the past to turn signings into permanent players like your Ben Whitemans, Tom Anderson, Cameron John, um, you know, players like that. So I think there's no reason whatsoever why this like can't hopefully fingers crossed succeed. Like I say, he's a winger who can play on either flank. For me, he's the Rodrigo Vilca replacement. I, he's filling in Chaker's number. I think from from what I think. I'm hoping, hopefully, this is the two loanees replaced now. Well, two of the three loanees that have gone back. Jakur and Vilka, for me, have now been replaced by Aegon and Martin. And if we're looking at it that way, and they are the direct replacements of those two players, I'm happy with those signings. I think it's good business by Rovers. So, you know, I commend McSheffrey. I commend the board for, for the business done so far. But now, as I said in the first analysis, Keep it going. Keep it going. I saw the story on John Joe O'Toole. He signed a new contract. We aren't getting him. John Marquise probably wasn't going to happen anyway. He's going to Lincoln City. Um, Paul Down has gone to Rochdale, obviously. So apart from those three players, we don't know any other targets. We really, really don't. Um, apart from the odd rumour here and there, which might not be true anyway. So um, in terms of the three names that I had heard about... John Joe O'Toole, John Marquise, Paul Downing, they're all off the radar now because they're either staying or they're going somewhere else. So, uh, And I think Marquise could be a good sign for Lincoln, uh, but we'll see. But uh, anyway, that is going to be it for this video, guys. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. And for now, I'm Aaron Chandler from Forever Football DRC. Keep living the Rovers life. Stay tuned for the Cambridge preview. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much. Rovers side die. Come on. Welcome, Josh Martin. Welcome to Danny Rovers. Oh,